your deposition's been noticed. And no matter who you're working with or what's going on, you can use some basic information. And please, uh, if you have a lawyer, uh, this is in no way intended to contradict anything that your lawyer has told you. Always listen to the lawyer you're working with first, but a good lawyer will probably have told you everything I'm going to tell you or is about to. So, um, and in fact, many lawyers will probably have told you to watch this video as a way to help you prepare for your deposition. And I'm happy to do that. And I'm happy to help all the other lawyers who are out there helping people like you get justice. So first of all, I'm gonna give you some basic, basic rules of the road for your deposition. So number one, the number one most important thing for your deposition, tell the truth, okay? You gotta tell the truth. You have taken an oath to tell the truth. If you think you need to lie, if you think you want to lie, that's when you need to look at your lawyer and say, I need to take a break. I don't care if the question is pending. You need to speak with your lawyer before you give that answer because you're thinking that you might need to lie. You never need to lie. You never should lie. If you lie in your deposition, you're putting a hole in your boat and it's not going to be long before you're sunk. All right, so that's rule number one. Never, ever lie. And by the way, that also includes exaggerating. All right, exaggeration is just a form of lie. Okay, and falsely stating that you don't know when you do know, that's a lie. Holding back your tears when you want to cry, that's a lie. You need to be the genuine person that you are. If you think you're going to cry, then you cry. Nobody's judging you. You need to be your 100% most honest, most true self and let the chips fall where they may. All right, so that's rule number one. Always tell the truth. Rule number two, right? People think that this is some kind of game that the lawyer's trying to trick them or whatever. Here's the deal. Not only do you have to be 100% your most genuine self, but you also have to be your best self. And what I mean by that is treat your deposition like you're going to a job interview. You want the person taking your deposition to like you. You want to be personable. I know you're angry and you're frustrated and they've just asked you yet another stupid question. But if you're at a job interview, do you look at the person who just asked you one more time to repeat where you went to school? Are you going to look at them and say, that's a dumb question. I've already answered that. No way because you won't get the job, right? The lawyer taking your deposition is the person who's going to be asking the person who's paying you money to pay the money. That gets a lot more difficult if they don't like you. You wanna be a dangerous plaintiff? Then be a plaintiff that everybody loves. Be kind, be professional, be considerate, be patient. And for whatever you do, don't get into an argument with the lawyer and start thinking that you're going to take over the deposition. That's not going to happen. So that's our second rule, okay? Treat it like a job interview. Third rule, and this is critically important. I don't know if you were in the Boy Scouts, the Girl Scouts, or any kind of scouting program, but there's a fundamental principle and it applies here as well. Always be prepared. You're not going to just show up to your deposition and knock it out of the park without doing your homework. That means you got to review your facts. You got to review your documents. You got to try and know your case as well as you can. I'm not trying to cause you stress, but it's your case. It's your life. You should know the answers to those questions and your lawyer should be facilitating your preparation. So if you don't think you're ready, if you feel in your heart that you are not prepared, tell your lawyer, get some more time and get yourself ready. Now my final tried and true, this is a tried and true technique. So get ready folks, this is gonna blow you away. All right, now so many people mess this up. Drink water, drink water. I mean it, take a drink. Watch what happens when you take a drink, ready? I'm talking, I'm talking, I'm talking, I'm talking. can't talk with water in my mouth. I'm controlling the pace. I'm making sure that my mouth is wet 
and moist to give the testimony that I need to get. I'm not having weird little mouth spit bubbles and disgusting stuff happening. I'm going to have to go to the bathroom if I keep drinking water like this. That means you can't hold me in some kind of crazy interrogation that goes on for hours because I'm drinking my water. I'm controlling this deposition with something as simple as water. Don't make the mistake. If you're not drinking the water, you're failing, right? So you just tell your lawyer, I said this, okay? Tell them to be on the lookout. Watch you, how much water you're drinking. The more water you drink, the better your deposition will be. I guarantee it. I guarantee it. Now, there's a lot more I want to tell you uh, and could tell you about how to prepare for your deposition, but my mama didn't raise no fool. I know that the defense lawyers are watching this video. So all they know right now is that you've been told to tell the truth, that you've been told to be kind and respectful, that you've been told to be prepared, and that you've been told to drink a lot of water. If you do these four things, you will have a great deposition and you will help your lawyer get either a great settlement or a great verdict. I know it sounds simple, folks, but usually the simplest things, the simplest instructions are the most important ones. So I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, go ahead and smash that like button at the bottom and subscribe for more helpful information.